Solution Focus, getting down to brass tacks. Sharon Hornell's mirror, got some brass tacks today. I don't think they're brass, they're just Target silver tacks. I don't know what tacks are made out of anymore. And of course, it's not like food ingredients, so it doesn't list what it's made out of on the surface. But normally I think of brass as being more of a, a goldy, brassy color. But these are just silver, but they get the point across that we're talking about tax and the importance of tax. T-A-C-K-S, not taxes, T-A-X-S. And today we're focusing on, and we were talking about being solution focused versus problem focused. How much attention do you pay to the problem versus the solution when stuff comes up? Because stuff happens in our lives all the time, right? Good, bad, the ugly, but things change all the time. The one thing we can count on in life is that things are ever changing. Well, this morning I got to practice what I preach and pay attention to, am I being problem focused or solution focused? Because this little piece, my light, one of my lights fell off of this. It's supposed to slide in here and then tighten down. Well, it wasn't doing that at all. It's that pretty heavy light piece. And so I worked on it for a minute. I was like, okay, I like that light. So I want it on. The more light I have on my face, the less my wrinkles show, which is, you know, a great strategy, right? It doesn't do anything for my neck, but it does help my face a little. So, so I'm like, I need my light to work. So I'm hopping up there. I'm trying to figure out how to fix it. I'm also, I've mentioned, I'm sure visually challenged. So stuff like this with little screws and things and not having the tools handy, make it extra challenging for me. But I'm like, all right, I'm going to figure this out. So I ended up just taking this whole section out, screwing it into something else and just did my video. I'm doing my videos, right? Because I know that the faster I get away from whining and complaining and being upset about the problem, and don't get me wrong, when the thing fell on the ground, I was upset. I'm like, okay, I need that light. What's going on? But I was like, it doesn't matter. It happened. So what am I going to do about it? And I think that's a really great, at least it served me really well to just look at something and say, okay, that just happened. What am I going to do about it? Because this happens all the time to us, right? In our lives. And we get to decide whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. We get to decide what we're going to make out of the situation. It's a really healthy mindset. Uh, I think a lot of people, me included at different times in my life, we all do this. We get, depending on what else is going on in our life will depend how quickly and how much we focus on our problems versus how much we focus on our solutions. The truth is, Unless we're focusing on what we want and none of us really want more problems. I don't know if you want more problems, put in the comment below. Yeah, I want more problems. <laughs> I don't know anybody that wants more problems. We're always looking to make our life better and improve our lives and, and have solutions to problems. Uh, and we do that by thinking about what we want, right? The more we focus on what we want, the more we get what we want. The more we focus on what we don't want, the more we get that shows up that we don't want. And I didn't make this up. It's a universal law, so you can look it up and figure it out, you know, the law of attraction works whether we believe it or not. So I say we might as well use it to our advantage. So you're talking about the idiom, get down to brass tacks today. And there's obviously a lot of confusion about that because when I researched it yesterday, people were asking more often than not, is it brass tacks, T-A-C-K-S, or tax, T-A-X? I don't think there was ever a brass tax unless, you know, any different than any other businesses or things that that existed but but that was a question for people this was a fun idiom in that it's kind of got a disputed background uh and and actually origin point they're not sure where it exactly came from and there's three different possibilities which were all kind of fun uh well i don't know if abraham lincoln would have thought his was fun but they're they're interesting right and interesting to me is fun i'm curious about stuff so the more interesting it is the more fun it is to look into so new week, brand new week, Sunday here and getting ready for the new week. If I can help you in any way, ask, you know, I just share and help answer questions and help you know what's the next thing that you need to do right now to grow and build and supersize your business primarily, but sometimes other areas and aspects of our life as well, because I've been around a long time. So I've got experience with a lot of stuff that, uh, some, a lot of stuff people don't ever have to deal with. And, uh, I just makes my position different and unique than other people's when it comes to consulting and coaching on different topics. Um, I'm one of those people that's had chronic pain and chronic illness my entire life and had to figure out how am I going to deal with this solution focus because I'm not just going to lay in my bed and be miserable. I did that for a while. It didn't work for me very well, it made me feel worse. And I knew I needed to figure out something to do about that. And so uh, I think that helped me to become more solution focused too. It's like I couldn't expect someone or something outside of me 
to come up with the solution for me because only I know me best. And I think if we take that approach with our life and with our business, we create the life we want. We don't wait for it to fall into our lap because it's not going to just fall into our lap. All right. Have an awesome day. If I can help you ask, otherwise I will be with you tomorrow just to share some experience, what I'm working on, what content I'm creating. Uh, I guess I should talk about why I create the content I create. If you're curious about that, ask. I know I've talked about it in the past, but uh, every once in a while, I think it's important to, to renew and review uh, some of the reasons why we do something. All right. See you tomorrow.